Hi, this is Mark with Harmony Central, and we're here with Dominic and the guys with Bitwig Studio. New, uh, and it's going to be released in March, correct? It will be released in March, March 26 to be exact. Sorry. Right. Yeah, so the company was founded in 2009, 2008, 2009, and we are eight people just trying to do a new little cool sequencer. And we're presenting version one here on the NAM. Uh, the release date is a few weeks from now, so we are just presenting what you will get in a few weeks and are totally excited about the feedback that we got here. Yeah, what is it? So we, we like to call it the next generation music creation software because it's a completely fresh development. We started from scratch and could take all the latest features into account. So uh, we don't only run on Mac and Windows, we have also a Linux version. It's all the same on all three platforms. And yeah, it's basically a DAW as you know it, but it also has not only that linear view like Cubase, Logic and all the old linear DAWs had, we also have a clip launcher functionality where you can play with your musical ideas and with loops in order to create an arrangement on the fly. That's something that Ableton Live pioneered in and did it really good. And we took all those concepts and tried to do something new with it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it, you got a mixture of performance based and production based all in one. Yeah, that's right. And what do you guys have in your repertoire for MIDI? Uh, for MIDI, it's, it's totally nice what kind of editing functions we have, so maybe we can take a closer look at the MIDI clip and the editors, sure. because there, there are a few nice tricks up its sleeve. So. Yeah, let's take a look real quick. Yeah, speaking of MIDI editing, the, the first thing you would notice is, if you click on a clip, you have the normal clip editor and you can see the cli clip content. Um, what we have there is a little button, we can switch that from the pure clip editing to track editing. And now I suddenly see not only the first clip I clicked on, like that, but I see all the clips that are living on that track, which is really nice because I can now work on transitions in the song because I can see the contents of the clips just side by side as in the arrangement view. We have not only that, but we can also activate the layered editing where I can now see on the left side there are all the tracks in my project and I can now define of can now define which notes, which clips, and what kind of content I want to see and edit. This means I can edit the content of a lot of clips at the same time. If you have like drum programming on three or four different tracks, you can see them all in one screen and edit them in, in relation to each other. Another really, really handy thing is that we have the inspector on the left side. I just open the normal clip editor again and now we see as soon as I click that bracket that on the left side it tells me we have 48 notes selected. It can now apply functions to those 48 notes. At the moment we are displaying the velocity values down there. If I click on the velocity value in the inspector it gives me a histogram. It shows me in statistical view how the velocity of the notes looks like. I can now introduce chaos to that to make it even more lifelike. I can do some functions like spreading the difference between those velocity values or just change them all overall. This um, histogram based editing is available for gain, for pan, for pitch, for timbre and makes um, editing of, of programmed MIDI material, if you want to do that a little bit more lifelike, makes it really really easy. So next thing would be we could take a look at the whole interface, how it is structured. What we have is a one window view more or less because we don't like overlapping windows. Especially when you are on stage, you don't want to uh, move around windows. You don't want to have things overlapping. You can't see your mixer while you're doing your MIDI editing or if you see a plugin. That, that is not what we wanted to do. So it's, it's more panel based and you can resize the different panels just to your liking as you work. You can just resize the MIDI lane, you can show the clip launcher or just hide it. You can take a look at the browser that it has different sections for our devices, for samples, for clips. And on top of that, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, so you can see different tabs like maybe in your browser. It's a tab document interface which means I can open multiple projects and this is totally handy because I can drag and drop now between those projects and exchange tracks, devices, clips, whatever I want to do. I also can change the view to this other side and also this is 
pretty dynamic in what you can show and hide. You can just hide the clips over there and pull up the big metering, which also is really nice if you just have a multi-monitor set up and you want to mix your song. One screen would show your big mixer with the big, mi uh, with the big meters. On the other screen you would have your arrangement and your clips. So you have a lot of freedom in how you set up your, your working space. So thanks for showing us some of the overall features. Under the hood, what does Bitwig have to offer? Uh, that's maybe the most interesting part, what you can't see at the moment. Under the hood, it's so nice that we have a modular system that we use to build all our devices, all the synthesizers, samplers, the MIDI effects, whatever is in there in our browser is already built using our own modular system. Which means in version 2.0 we will open that to the customers and they can suddenly open up all the creations that we did and they already know from version 1.0 and can mess with them. They can modify our synthesizers, they can build their own creations and do whatever they want with it. We have a nice audio engine that really sounds great. It's it's state of the art, 32 bit and floating point. Uh, we have plug in bridging, 32 bit, 64 bit side by side, and we even have plug in sandboxing, which means every plugin runs as its own process. If a plugin crashes, it does not crash your host. If the song just continues, you even get a little knob, a little button, and if you press that, it reloads that plugin. So it should be really, really stable on stage if you have nasty plugins that don't behave. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big plus when you're on stage. Absolutely. Well, thank you for taking the time to show us. You guys saw it here first. Uh, Harmony Central, NAM 2014. Bitwig Studio coming out March 26. March 26. The price is $3.99. And on March 26, there will also be the demo on the website that you can download and yeah, give it a try. So get the demo, check it out. NAM 2014.